All right, everybody, back at Klein's Run, doing the back nine, chasing 900, chasing plus 11, spin it. All right, everybody, welcome back to another Discs MD video. And uh, we're back here for the back nine of Klein's yep. Run. I have my buddy Corey uh, from the Power Disc Golf Academy with me. And uh, we're chasing 900 again. So if you haven't watched the front nine, I'll give you a second to stop and go back and watch the front nine. I'll link it up here. All right, so you've been warned. I'm at one over. Corey's at six, six over. over. So I'm chasing 900, which means I need to shoot plus two for the event. And Corey's chasing plus 11, which is his uh, PR here. So uh, let's get to it. Hole number 10, 205 foot par three. It's up on a cliff. So you have a rock wall cliff right, right before the basket. I don't do many forehands off the tee, but this is one of them because it just makes sense. All right, 205 feet up to the left. Oh, and that's why. Stay. Okay. Just throw it too low. I'm going to go mid here with my warship just to make sure I get across there and stay in the center. Yeah. Oh, oh stay. Oh, get. good tree. There you go. You're safe. That's good. You're good. Oh, he's back in the thick of it. Could be. The... I don't, you can't see the basket from here, I don't think. Oh, I can yeah, see the top go. band right of there. it. Yep, I got it. Oh no. Stay. All right, he's good. Ugh. You're good. All right, he's got to get up onto that rock wall. Basket's accessible once you get up there. It's pretty close to that edge. Just got to get it up there. Oh. Bummer action slipped off. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, this is Corey's. This is Corey's blow up hole. I had mine. Yeah, straight in front of you there. All right, we'll see where that goes. It's always, all the way down. Yeah, it's always suspense here, uh, going up there. Whew. I patent pending is not good for me, but I should be I should be able to make this. <laughs> Oh, nice little tree. kiss. That's twice, twice with the tree love. <laughs> so yeah, he's got about a 25 footer. It rolled a good ways for him. Oh, that was a great putt. You are two inches from that being in. Great putt. Tap that in. And we will speak of this hole no longer. More. <laughs> All right, move on to hole 11. Pretty good climb up here. <laughs> they have stairs, but they're steep. So 221 feet, hole 11, 220 feet down and to the right. Pretty downhill, just a standard backhand hyzer for me. Throw on my horny toad. Yeah, that should be pretty good. I'm gonna go with my understable underworld. All right, you're gonna turn it over. It's supposed to be understable, so I hope. All right. <laughs> well, that's high. That's a that's a sneaky line. It Did hit it solid. Through? Nice. Heard it hit solid. Nice. So. Yeah, we'll see. I don't see mine right now, but the grass is very deceptive. So I definitely came around that corner. So it was definitely over here somewhere. Yeah. We saw something right under the basket, but I don't know. We'll go look. We'll give Corey his upshot here. Chance to throw this in. Oh, too far. Come back around. Nope, you're good. But right I'll under the it. basket. Nice up. <laughs> nice up. All right. Well, we, 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 <laughs> we, found, we found me. Actually, Corey found me. <laughs> 
There we go. That you was can, a beautiful you can, shot. You can drop mine in. So Corey for the par, me for the birdie, and on to 12. Let's go. Yeah, so this is the first par four on the shorts. It's over the creek, uh, way up to the left there. There's a lot to get through. I'm just going to throw my bayonet and throw it hard, and hopefully it gets through. We'll see. All right, if it's not surrounded by water, I'm safe up there, so we'll see. So there is a layup spot right down there in the sun, right after those group of trees, a nice layup spot. That's where I'm going. So that's probably, yeah, that's probably the safest bet. Get down. All right, that's not bad there. You'll be able to get across, I think. Oh. So we have a game plan, Corey, here to throw up by that tree up there. No, with this big tree in my run up. Yeah. Well. All right, we're going with the forehand standstill because he can't run up. That just can't keep just keeping it out of the water. Yeah. Keep it up there to the right and go over. Get down. Get down. Get down. Yeah, you good. might be all right up there. We're good. Yeah. So narrow access to get through, but. You got a forehand to punch up through there. Yeah. Yep, perfect. Oh my goodness. That was perfect. Oh, I'm right around the tree again. <laughs> you like being near the trees. All right, let's go find mine. All right, down in the junk here. Let's see if I can get up there for the birdie. I don't know. This is a precarious situation here. <sighs> Get down. Get down. All right, while I'm up there, we'll see who it has. Just outside, maybe 35, 40 feet here. The dreaded straddle nope. putt. Do nope. it up. All right, there we go. Hi, down there, up there. All right, I have a little bit of a window here. All right, here we go. This is a uh, Matty O putt. <laughs> nope. Okay. Close. It was close. All right. Corey is the boom. And I'll save par here. And move on to hole 13. All right, hole number 13, 235 feet. Again, they love these short 220, 230, 240 foot par threes, and they put them like 60, 70 feet uphill. <laughs> Throw my warbird. <sighs> Nailed it. Ha <laughs> ha, that a great distance to it. Going up the right side, and it's a little further, but I know I got at least a clean look at it. Yep. As Simon would say, play the percentage. That's right. That's right. That's a free bit of advice from the Power Disc Golf Academy. That's a great shot. Get away from that tree. I think you're in front of the tree. Yep, again. I think in front of it. <laughs> I had a huge gap and couldn't hit it. It's all right. Just get up and down here. Or up and in. That's short. Okay. Good line. Really short. All right. Corey's best friend, the tree. He's either right in front or right behind. And my savior. <laughs> and your savior. The trees and his savior. Oh, get down. Oh, he juiced it. Yeah, I did. Oh, no. That's going to long come back. Circle's edge. go nice putt dude great save great save and i'm gonna pov this we're right here all right all right two pars going on to 14 okay hole number 14 uh another par four 488 feet way long up to the right a little bit here 
you can't see it from here, but it's back behind all those trees. So I shoot straight up the gut here and try to get just as far as I can. <clears throat> oh, and hit that tree. Wow, that's bad. Yanked my last two drives, wow. Going with my D6 air again. Try not to put it on so much hyzer so that it does over stability take it to the all right. right. All right. Yep. Get around that. Yeah. Get down. Out in the open. All right. Great shot. Nice shot. All right. Let's see if I can do this. <sighs> Looking good. Yeah, that should be me a look up and down for par. All right, he's got a shot up the hill here. Still a long poke for me. Yeah. Oh, threw it up. Stop, stop, don't skip. All right, well, he's almost pin high there, but down the hill a little bit. So basket is right there. Not bad. That's oh. fine. Nope, we're good. Shot. Root. But. Well, I have a window. It's got a gap. Not much of one. Go in. Oh, great putt. Distance, Good but run. not. Yeah, a little right, a little right. All right, where am I? After hitting first available, this I'll take this for par. Good All par. Right. And I'll just throw mine in from here. Yep, a little POV putting. Nice job. All right, 326 foot par three. Uh, up to the, it's just to the right of the tee pad. So I'm gonna throw my Warbird. The last couple drives I've been planting wrong. So it seems like I've been pulling it, but my walk up was wrong. So see if I can adjust here. <clears throat> nope. Wow. That would have been pin high. <laughs> <laughs> Don't need to make me look good. Forehand seem to be working today, so we're going to continue the trend. All right. Yeah, come out of it. Come out of it. Oh, yeah. Great shot. Great shot. All Hold right. on. Yeah, so wind is picking up. I guess the front is moving in or something. It's crazy. See some grayness. We'll Looks see. like it, yeah. But, yeah, that wind's definitely picking up. So he's right up through there. Nice little backhand hyzer, maybe. Oh, he's going forehand. Oh, that's actually good. That's the bigger yeah, gap. Yeah, that's yep. the bigger gap. Yep, that's good. Play the percentage, right? That's what that's he's right. saying. Ah, uh, too far out. It's all right. Good distance, though. Yeah. Good distance. All right. Yeah, about 30 short of being pin high, but I'm like 50 feet left. <laughs> so... About 80 feet out, I would guess here. Oh, oh, tried. Go in, go in. Yes, nice putt. The par save, fantastic job. Par. Nice job. Let's try not to get big putted by Corey on this. All right, All right. couple pars, moving on to 16. All right, hole 16, 313 feet, a little downhill. I see the flag straight in front of me. Uh, just got a real narrow gap right off the box here. It usually doesn't come into play too much, but it does get in your head. So let's get through it. All right, so I've noticed, I think what's happening is when I come back, I'm setting far too far back here and not out here. So I have to come around my body, which is why I'm pulling it. So let's see if we can make the adjustment. That's the tree that you gotta miss. Yep, 
He got through. Good. To the uh, left, but I thought it would be, come back. You should be open there. You yeah. should be good. All right. So, uh, yeah. I've gone about 30 feet. <laughs> so I got about 270. I'm going to throw my Brazos here. Bogey. For sure. I'm going to try a backhand approach with my maiden. All right. Got right down in there. Go in. Nope. Oh. It didn't roll. You're right there for the par. What to try? What try the Annie putt or the big hyzer putt? We're doing a hyzer putt. Oh, <laughs> almost got it. But Corey got the unfriendly roll here. Good putt. You can just tap me in there for the bogey. So Corey's got the par, I got the bogey. On to 17, two more holes. All right, two holes left. If I've done my math right, I'm at two over. Um, my my personal goal was even. I should be playing even and under par here. Hole six, taking a plus five on hole six. Yeah. I, I don't think I've ever done that. So we're taking this round with a grain of salt. So if I hit my line, I'm ecstatic. So let's try to go birdie birdie here though. We're uh, 320, it's straight ahead up there. I'm gonna throw my Warbird. Got to figure out why, why I'm pulling everything. <sighs> Get up. Oh, that headwind. That headwind just, just smashed it. Forehand again. All right, going forehand. Oh, turfed it. That's all right, that's all right. You're out in the middle, that's good. Yeah. All right, let's go. All right. You got a nice approach here. You can go either way, really. Yeah. What do you think it is? Decisions, decisions. Oh, what is that? Hold on. Hold that up there. About one thirty. What is that? Hold that up again. Is that a? That's a three D printed range finder. Manual range finder. Wow. All right. So what's it say? Well, it says one thirty two, give or take some. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna go with my Maverick here. Okay. Try to keep it straight. Squirrels are throwing things at us. <laughs> I think they are. <laughs> They're mad. He missed it. Oh, he did. Go round. What? <laughs> All right. That was a. That was a straight, but I'll take that it. That was a fantastic route. All right. All right. We're still probably a good 80 feet, 70 feet out here. Get in there. All right, I'll take it. All right, so close, I'm not, but I'd say close to 30, between 25 and 30 feet for the tree in his way. Go in. Uh, oh, that headwind, I tell you, it's wreaking havoc right now. All right, I'm gonna walk up here. So you see two little tap-ins, one for bogey, one for par. I'll tap mine in, I'll tap his in, on to the last hole. We're at 300 feet here, but it plays really downhill, uh, tucked back up to the right. I'm going to throw my horny toad here. I usually throw my walker, but I, ugh, I don't know. You know what? I'm not second guessing myself. Go with what you know. Yep, we're throwing the walker here. If I hit the line right, I have a good shot at this one. <sighs> go, go. Nope. Okay, that's short. Go, go. You're in sort of yep. with me, a little left of me probably. Not bad. Yeah, so I babied this one. I, I'm not even close. I, I don't know what happened there. 
So, uh, yeah, this is not going to be easy. Hopefully, I make it up and down here. <sighs> nope. Wow. All right, let's try again. From right up here. We're not even going to go. <sighs> I have nothing. Absolutely nothing. Stay. Ooh, roll down the hill. Okay. Well, that's right. All right, I thought I was in a tight spot. I think I'm a little worse off. Victoria's a little worse off. So, holes up there. Oh, Briars. Yeah, oh, you man. Right there. Corey is back in here. So, I'm sitting for bogey. We'll see what happens. Get up. Go in. All right. That's, that's a fine. Good up. That's a good up. This is the pressure putt. Because I'm at two, if I make this, I'm at two over, which is my 900 round. As bad as I've played today, <laughs> I can't believe I'm still in a running for 900 here. All right. Focus on making the putt. Just throw it in the basket. Nope. Sit. All right. End of the dream. All right. This is for Corey's par. Par. Yep. Good run, good run. So he'll tap that in for the bogey. And I'll have to tap this in for the double. Can we POV this? Let's try it. There's no, I don't know. <laughs> Look, I I'm wouldn't risk it. I'm, I'm balancing on a log. No, I'm not risking nope, it. Nope, nope. <laughs> wow. Okay. All right, got to get my balance here. This isn't a hard putt. It's just I'm, I'm balancing. All right. All right. All right. Well, there you have it. Come up a little short. A little short. A little short. So I was at plus three, so I missed it by one stroke. I think that's a 993 rated or 893 rated around. Corey was at plus, plus 14, 14, so he missed his by three strokes. All in all, not awful. Not a great round. Corey's putting and his forehand were on today. Yep. Uh, my putting was on. My approaches weren't bad. My drives were terrible. Uh, plus, we both had OBs on six. six. So I took an eight on six, which I've never done before. So a little bit of an asterisk on it, because even if I think double bogey is rare for me. Uh, I mean, bogey is rare for me on that hole. I usually almost always par it and birdie it, you know, about 30% of the time. So even if I bogeyed that hole, I'm four strokes better. I'm sitting at one under yep. for the round. So bad choices like so the lesson learned right and we yep. said this we said this yep. in this video simon lazad make the smart choice right play make, the percentage play that's it play, play the, the percentage. percentage make smart choices i did not make a smart choice on six and it cost me 900 i mean that hole cost me 900 yep. and that hole probably cost you your plus 11. One stroke and then some oddball yep. lays behind trees and stuff that yeah. were yeah. tough to get around. So, so anyway, your first time solo with me on, on camera. How was it? Oh, this was great, man. All Thank right. you very much yeah. for letting me come along and enjoy this. Yeah. So we'll have you back. I'm, I'm going to try to have, we have a big Pennsylvania following oh, in, the, yeah. in the Power Disc Golf Academy. So I'm going to try to have those guys on. You've seen John Guyman. You've seen Brandon. You've seen Corey now. Russell Gray, he moved pretty far away from us he's over in philly now he's about two hours away but i know he comes back from time to time so i want to get russ on the channel uh, uh et elliot um mm -hmm. it is it, i want to get on the channel kevin i want to get on the channel so there's a bunch of guys i want to get on the channel and we'll get to them so uh but thanks again to Corey for coming out thanks you thank you all for all your support and watching the channel and until next time enjoy the journey here's your verse of the day